Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, we're getting some breaks in the clouds now pushing into the western part of Ohio. We're going to see some clearing around the area tonight, at least some partial clearing. Uh, even if we clear out briefly, we may see some more low clouds move back in later tonight, and some of those patchy morning clouds uh, could be around. I say Wednesday, that should be Thursday, I should say. I just now caught that mistake. Otherwise, we're going to see mostly sunny skies, seasonably cool conditions expected for Thursday and Friday with a rain chance coming back later in the weekend, and we're going to see some showers late Sunday, otherwise seasonable temperatures over the weekend, maybe even a little bit above normal. And finally, on Halloween, it looks like some showers are going to move back uh, into the area. Uh, they'll actually move in late Sunday, could linger into Halloween. 7 o'clock, 48 degrees with 46 at 9 p.m., 43 at 11. Uh, we expect to see those clouds uh, break up a bit, get back to partly cloudy skies. And then our forecast tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, 39 degrees with 50 at noon and 57 at 5 p.m. We expect uh, some of the patchy low clouds still in areas tomorrow, especially our northern counties, but otherwise should clear out and we'll see plenty of sunshine going into the afternoon. Temperatures next 12 hours coming down through the 40s, dropping into the 30s later tonight. And then the highs tomorrow expect to hit the mid to upper 50s over the northern part of the Miami Valley. Upper 50s may be close to 60 degrees over the southern half of the region. And then Friday we get up into the low to mid 60s and it looks like we'll continue that warming trend into Saturday when some upper 60s are going going to be possible. Here's the Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera time lapse out on I-75. Cloudy conditions out there this evening. Uh, still a lot of cloud cover showing up, but look out here, a little sliver of sunshine uh, showing up on the west and southwest horizon. Uh, the drought monitor, we did get some rain last night, good news there, but you can see moderate drought now southern Mercer County, down into Preble, most of Montgomery County, Miami County, and extending back out into eastern Indiana, and even worse uh, drought conditions to the west. Uh, moderate to severe to even extreme drought out over parts of the central plain state. So we could use a little bit of water. We did get some last night. Our weather checkers reporting four tenths of an inch. David Wessler, New Paris, Jason Thompson, Brookville. The airport had about four tenths. Bill Tellsero in the Fairborn Beaver Creek area, three tenths of an inch of rain. Barbara Richards in Kettering also reporting four tenths of an inch. Live Doppler 2 HD. We're back to dry weather tonight. There have been some areas of drizzle, but it looks like most of that has moved out, and now we're seeing those breaks in the clouds coming in from the northwest. Uh, they'll continue to move into the area's high pressure slides east, but still some low clouds up over northern Indiana, southern Michigan, and as our winds turn more to the north and northeast later tonight, a few of those clouds could drift down our way. Temperatures right now 20 to 25 degrees colder than at this time yesterday. Right now 51 in Dayton with a northwest wind at 10 miles per hour. Your forecast tonight, partial clearing. It'll be chilly. Overnight low 38 degrees with that north-northwest wind backing off to 5 to 10. Mostly sunny, cool tomorrow, and we should make it into the upper 50s in the afternoon. Friday, Saturday, mostly sunny, 64 Friday, 68 Saturday. More clouds Sunday, a chance of showers late in the day, 62. Some of those showers lingering into Halloween, and then it looks pretty nice as we roll into early November into the upper 60s near 70 Tuesday and Wednesday.